In the last part of the previous video, we did a question like this where we had to work out the number of ways that we could arrange these people and we said that the answer was 2 factorial times by 5 factorial times by 2 factorial or something like that. Now, what I want, and what we said was that this part here was due to the number of units. Remember, each of these was a unit. The boys were a unit and the girls were a unit. Then within the boys, there were five people, and that's where this one came from. And then within the girls, there were two people, and that's where that came from. Of course, you could have done the girls first, so that would have become a two, and that would have been a five. But when you're multiplying, the order doesn't really matter. Now, I just want to explain this once more. So this part here we said was the number of units. Why do we even need to put a number there? Because check this out. As we see it, the boys are on the left, and the girls are on the right. But the order could have been reversed and looked like this, where the girls are on the left and the boys are on the right. Okay, so that's a totally different order, and that's where this comes from. Then the five factorial. So within the boys, have a look here. We've got these five boys. That can be, their order can be modified, okay? So this guy here, he could sit there, for example, and this one there could sit on that side. And there's a whole lot of different combinations. So just in their little option, just in their five seats, there would be five factorial different options. And then within the girls, they could also be seated the way we see them now, or they could be switched the other way around. And that's where the two factorial comes from. So this two over here is the number of categories or units. And then within each category, you can change the order and that's where the five comes from for the boys and the two comes from for the girls. So let's say we have these five books, okay? Three of them are English books, two of them are maths books. How many ways could we rearrange them on a bookshelf if the order does not matter, okay? So it doesn't matter if the English books are separate from the maths books or if they're together, it doesn't matter. These are the easiest type of questions because check this out. For the first place, you have five options. We can just say five. For the next one, there's four options and then three options and then two options, then one. Notice I don't have to make a separate little column at the bottom here saying choices because the reason, the only time I need to do that is if there were units that could be rearranged within themselves. But if it's not, then I simply count the number of items. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I can literally just say five factorial, which is the same as five times four times three times two times one. Now, let's say the English books and the maths books have to be together. So then, how many different categories do we have? Well, we've got maths and English, so that could be two factorial. Then, within the maths category, or you could start with the English, but let's say in the maths category, how many books are there? There are two. So that would be another two factorial. And then within the English books, there are three categories, and that would be three factorial. And so the answer to that would be 24. So there's only 24 ways that you could do that. Let me just show you what it looks like behind the scenes. So we would have five different options. But now, because there's units available, I must say choices over here. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So, when I look at these books, because the maths and the English have to be together, how many units are there? Well, that would be two. But I'm not going to say two factorial. I'm just going to say two. And let's say we chose the English books. Okay. So, within the English books... How many options do you have? Well, there are now three options. So we can say times three. And let's say we chose E1. So I'm just going to say E1 over here. So that's now gone. Then we store within the English books. And let's say we, so we have another two options. And let's say we chose E3. So that E3 is now gone. And then we have one more choice, which of course would be E2. Okay, so those are done. Then, how many units do we still have available? Well, we still have another one unit, and that's the maths books. And within the maths books, how many options do we have? Well, there are two options. So let's do that, and let's say we chose M2, so that's now gone. And then we still have another one option, and so that would be M1. You see, how many spaces do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, but how many choices did we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see, so that is why, I don't know if you've noticed, but when it's an easy one where they aren't separate units, I literally just put the numbers 
on top of these lines like that and I just do that but as soon as there's units available then what I do is I create the five spaces like over here but I don't put the numbers in those places I put the actual item that I am choosing and the number of choices that I make goes at the bottom over here because those at the bottom there's seven numbers and that wouldn't fit into this space over here and that might confuse you and lastly what I want to quickly do is see how does this become the same as that well this part over here the unit part which is choosing two units and then one unit that together makes this then within the um, English books oh, sorry this one over here it's that one over there instead now within the English books there were three choices and that's why we had three times two times one so there and that's this part over here and then within the maths books there were two options that's two times one and that's that part over there so I would recommend you not do it like this because it takes very long rather memorize how to do it like this but I'm just showing you how it works so the first number is the number of units so that's English and maths then these numbers over here are the number of units within each unit so this two over here that's because there were two maths books and this three over here that's because there were three English books